Log on to www.nasa.gov slash station.
uh, power channels for the Kibo systems. Channel B is uh, the more critical of the two, at least for now, because channel B activates and uh, provides the power for the moderate temperature loop pump and uh, for the electronics uh, for the Japanese robotic arm that will be tested later in the week. The, uh, it has been slow going uh, a bit for Hoshide and Nyberg. Uh, they're running a bit behind uh, the timeline uh, with the uh, connection of these power jumpers. The thermal uh, systems officer in the space station flight control room reported uh, that uh, the connection of one return jumper for that moderate temperature loop uh, back uh, to the module itself caused a small drop in pressure. So to make sure that uh, we have the correct pressure for that critical thermal loop, the moderate temperature loop, uh, we're checking it out right now. The uh, thermal systems officer talking to his engineering folks, making sure that nothing uh, is out of the ordinary with that particular jumper cable. Just one second, Aki, we're talking about that very thing. Mission Specialist Aki Hoshide holding up a welcome sign now that the official ingress of the Kibo Laboratory has occurred at 4.09 p.m. Central, 215 miles above Tunisia. Houston Station uh, crew reports no particulates in the JPM. Okay, we copy your go to DOF PPE. All right, thank you. That call means that the crew can take off the protective mask now that they've done a check of the air quality and determined there was no danger from debris inside. Discovery and station crews taking advantage of the fact that the Kibo is the largest laboratory on the station to stretch out and perform some acrobatics. Again, the hatches on the new laboratory opened at 4.05 p.m. Central as the station and shuttle were 216 miles above the Atlantic Ocean at 4.08 p.m. They were given the crew was given the go to ingress the module and mission specialist Aki Hoshide and Karen Nyberg took the first 
float in at 4.09 p.m. Central. They were about 215 miles above Tunisia.